you just came from a country where you had no future, and now you get to go to when you know what most people consider the greatest country in the world. That's like a second chance at life, so to speak. My name is Major Dad Win. Uh, I'm a I work at Africom as a uh, operation analyst in the J8 Directorate. So for me, growing up in Vietnam, I was still a child at this point. I remember bits and pieces and what the adults would tell me later on. The conflict ended in 1975. Before the conflict, our family was part of the Old South. And so when the communists won the conflict, anybody who had ties to the Old South was pretty much blacklisted. It came to the point where my relatives decided this is not how we want to continue. Now, there's no future for us in Vietnam. And we started looking for ways to escape. Um, so we escaped by, by boat. We unloaded onto the, the boat at midnight, you know, pitch dark. Imagine you have a boat the size 2.2 meters wide, um, 1.2 meter high, and about 15 meters long. Not a big boat. This is like a fishing trawler. Um, and then now, imagine squeezing in 149 people on that little boat. We spent three days and four nights at sea. Um, but luckily for us, we ran to an oil rig and they directed us to uh, Malaysia. And that's where we ended up. Most of the refugees that were chosen to go to the United States because of the ties from the, the Vietnam conflict. Since I've been in the United States, I have been given an opportunity to go to school for free and you know, to go to West Point, um, where I receive all these great training speed leaders. And, and I think this is one way that I look at it as giving back to the United States for the opportunities that the country has given me. Every day when I put on the uniform, I consider it a privilege to serve, right? And for me, the country, the United States, gave me the second chance to make something of myself. Uh, had I been stuck in Vietnam, I don't know what would happen to me. You know the American dream, right? People say that a lot. And I, I really truly believe in that. And I think our family uh, is a living embodiment of that aspect. For us, America is still an amazing country. We are truly grateful for this nation.